Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. I hope you can hear that tapping noise. That's a 04 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3, 225,000 miles on it. And uh, it got towed in and died while driving. Uh, when we got it in, the battery was stone dead. Why, I'm not 100% certain. The hazards were not on, at least as the tow truck driver said, the hazards were not on, but the battery was stone dead. I thought it started a little funny when I put the booster on it. You know, almost like it labored to start. But let me show you something here real quick. Uh, I went to go check the oil. Let me just show you something. Now I'm gonna check it with it running and there's a reason for that. Let me show you real quick. Uh, here we go, the stick is out of it. Leave that in there for a second. Can you see that? Look at the quality of that oil. That's mud. That is absolute mud. All right, let me shut this thing off. And then we'll check it again. This thing is also blowing smoke. I, I don't know if you can see it. You may not be able to see it, but it, it, it's huffing some smoke. Um, it's blue smoke too, like oil smoke. So I do have my scanner hooked up because I was checking a couple things real quick. But let me shut it off. And now it was charging fine, uh, according to my booster pack there. Uh, it was charging right at 14 volts. So it's why the battery was dead, I do not know. So what I'm gonna do right now, let me wipe the stick off and we'll go from there, hang on. All right, so there we go. I wiped the stick off. Now let's check the oil again. You can see, stick is bottomed out. There is no oil in this motor, none. That's just residual that's in the tube or you know, as it wipes up out, it hits the side of the block or whatever. But there is no oil in this motor. Who knows when the last oil change was. Now, let's start it again. And listen to it start. All right. I got a funny feeling this motor is seizing up on itself. So now what? Do I put oil in it? No, I'm going to change the oil. I'm going to change the oil and filter and see what happens. I'm not even going to call them. I'm just going to do it because, you know, obviously this isn't good. And here's the oil pressure too, just so you can see it. I mean, what is it? That's uh, like six or eight pounds right now. And it's not even fully warmed up. It hasn't been driving. It's it's hot, but it's not fully fully warmed up. So, actually, what's it? I wonder what it reads in gear. Let me just get in this. Hold on. Uh, that's in gear, so it's about five psi according to this. I wonder if my scanner will actually show data for that. Let's see. I was in ABS for a reason because the ABS light's on. I was just trying to figure out why the battery was going dead. Oops. It may not even give it, but I'm just trying to see if it does. Let's see. <laughs> Low 
the oil lamp is off. Meanwhile, there's no oil on the stick. Yeah, it doesn't give it. But, I mean, you can hear the motor from here. I mean, it's just tapping away. I'm shut it down. So there's obviously an issue. I, I'm wondering if I wonder if this motor locked up when they were driving it. And because, um, like I said, it labored when it started for me, and it's laboring now. Let me let me start it one more time. Now that's with the booster pack and everything hooked up to it. It really shouldn't be like that. So I guess yeah, I'm gonna pull it in the shop and I'm gonna change the oil. Um, I'm in the middle of doing an, an engine on an Equinox, so I might just wait a little bit on this because I got to get that engine job done. Um, I was hoping to have it done by lunch, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Probably more like 2 o'clock. But, um, yeah, so that's it for right now. If you get anything out of my videos, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. Uh, that's it for right now. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.